Alright, welcome back, Lime Rock. Fun track to drive. Uh, definitely gonna be some action racing. Uh, as usual, gonna go through uh, the setup and then go through the corners in slow mo, run them out at full speed. So, iRacing setup this time, not so far off as it has been on some tracks. Um, ride height is lowered, uh, ARB was. Uh, increased a little there one notch I think brake pressure well that's always a personal preference but I'm running it at 54% um, front and rear I did not change springs toes anything like that um, as for the rear uh, the ride heights lowered uh, the ARB was uh, increased uh, a notch and if you've watched my previous videos 14 liters 13 liters may get you to the end depending on track conditions and just the pace of the race uh, I have finished races on 13 liters and I have run out of fuel on 13 liters so 14 liters to be safe uh, you'll have to test that out on your own to see how many laps you can get in on 13 liters uh, one liter isn't gonna make a big difference to your pace uh, so 14 to be safe, uh, but try 13 in practice, see if you can do it. And gear stack standard, Thai Racing has, that, has it at tall. Uh, tall I found, again, just not my cup of tea. Shifts are too weird, so I'm going with the standard. So we'll get into the guide. So track is 33, that's probably on the cooler side. It seems this season it's, it's been around 32 to 42 uh, degrees, so this is definitely a little bit on the cooler side. Track usage is 37%, so it's it's maybe a little slicker than normal. Um, yeah, so we'll do a 55.9, and let's get into it. So coming into turn one, fourth gear, looking for this blue cone uh, or the two board. Uh, basically braking just before them in real time it looks like I'm braking at the two board but uh, slow-mo always says something different hard on the brake shifting down into third gear you do want to come in tight to this curb running out wide uh, I found is not the faster way you're just extending the track quite a bit I came in here a little hot uh, had to do a little counter steer so just watch out for that um, just maintaining some throttle on there just to keep the back end steady um, so on hot tires depending on you want to move out to about mid track through the middle section here um, but I find it better for me to shift down into second you can hold this in third the problem is if you don't really nail it in third gear your RPMs are gonna come in too low or you're gonna come in too hot and go wide uh, there's just a lot of potential mistakes that can happen so I find shifting down into second between this this curb and the last curb um, is is the more consistent way to go and and it really is it's pretty fast too um, shifting down in a second just uh, gets the car tightened up to come in uh, tight against this curb don't get on these two curbs the previous one and this one these cement curbs are elevated they'll uh, push your car out wide and unsettle your car uh, so and then it's just a short time in second gear shifting back up into third uh, you can make use of this outside curb but don't get on that grass uh, you're, you're gonna probably see a lot of cars spinning out here that came in too hot so uh, watch out for that so coming into the next section here uh, basically I think this is from the, the start finish here I think this is the fourth light stand technically but to my visuals it looks like it's the third one so that's the one you're looking for that's gonna be the turn in point so in third gear turning in uh, just lifting off the throttle uh, again this is the same thing as the last section you can do this in third gear especially when the tires are warm uh, however um, again it's that thing where it, unless you really nail it uh, third gear you, you, 
you'll come in too hot or you'll come in with the RPMs too low and you're going to get bogged down. So I do shift into second gear uh, just as you're approaching uh, the cement curb up here. Uh, you just have to practice a couple of laps uh, for that previous section and this section. When you're shifting down in from third into second, you just can't. If you're carrying too much speed and you downshift, your your rear wheels are going to under rotate and you're going to spin like crazy. So you just have to get a feel for the car, um, the the engine revs when it is safe to shift down into second through the corner. Um, otherwise, yeah, you're going to spin. So just watch out for that and again it's just a, a short time in second gear just to tighten the car up get onto these curbs these these curbs are not an issue uh, and make use of them that really tightens uh, shortens the corner and you can really cut it so make use of those and just picking up the throttle as much as you can as early as you can and you want to keep tight to the left hand side here again that's another reason why I'm in second gear if you run out wide here if you left it in third and you came in too hot and you're out here you're gonna lose a tremendous amount of time in this next corner so it is important to get to the left here there's not a really a great turn in marker here there's kind of a kink in the white line or you can uh, sort of base it on the advertising signs here I maybe turn in here just a little bit too early Shifting up into third, again you want to be tight up against this curb but not on it. Um, yeah, I turned in maybe just a fraction early, uh, so I wasn't quite on full power as early as I should be. I had to thro uh, feather that a little bit. And you can make use with this curb here, just again, uh, don't get on the grass here, watch out. Uh, there will be people getting on the grass here and a lot of times they are going to spin. Uh, so watch out for that. Third gear shifting up into fourth. So looking for this tree, I'm going to be braking just in front of this tree. Um, there's this yellow paint, so watch out for that. That that you can use that as a marker. It's on a few places on this track. Um, if you're better on the brakes than I am, you might be braking at the tree. Uh, but I find coming, it's, it's, I just come in too hot if I break any later than what I am. Shifting down into first, um, again, another corner where you can uh, sort of go either way. You can do this section in second gear. The problem I find is, is you will come in faster in second gear. Your delta is going to be green, but by the time you're at the top of the hill, uh, your delta is going to be red. Uh, whereas if you shift down into first here, uh, your your delta is going to be red, but by the time you get to the top of the hill, your delta is going to be green, and that's really sort of the more important part. Uh, so yeah, down into first, it's really it's a hard braking uh, section. You really have to make sure the car is slowed down. You do not want to come in here too hot and get right up tight against these curbs as tight as you dare without actually touching them. If you if you hit them, your car is going to go flying, uh, and not in a good way. So, just a short time uh, in first gear, basically shifting up as soon as the revs kind of pick up um, around this uh, second curb here. Again, I just graze the edge there. You do not want to take any more than that, really. And then again, same thing. You want to really straight line it. I'll just run it through here at full speed. You want to try and straight line this whole section as much as possible. Turn it and just minimize that wheel input. Shifting up into third. Um, again, so I've shifted up into fourth. Uh, cold tires, this section I would keep in third for the first few laps. Uh, third's really not going to slow you down too much. Uh, fourth gear on cool tires, I find you just have to brake too much and the RPMs drop too much. So again, on exit, you're going to lose a lot of time. Uh, so once the tires are hot, though, leaving it in fourth gear, and it's just basically lifting. Um, and again, if you're on a hotter track that's that's not as grippy, third gear, certainly in the first few laps, is probably your best bet. 
and just getting up tight against that curb again that's not one you want to get on that is going to bounce your car a bit and then making use of the uh, the curb on exit again I turned in maybe there just a smidge early so I did not make use of the whole track cost me a little bit of time probably and yeah back into fourth and I'm not going to fast forward because the next part is almost here um, so again looking for this yellow section on uh, the the barrier uh, at the end of the yellow section here or there's kind of a dip in the track but if there's a car in front of you you're not going to really see that so this uh, yellow section turning in fourth gear and it's just a, a bit of a lift uh, again, cold tires, it's just going to be a bit of a bigger lift. You don't want to be doing this in third gear on cold tires. That's that's going to be too slow. Um, and then just picking up the throttle as much as possible. I get on the curb there a little bit. Uh, not necessarily ideal. Uh, don't do that. Get close to it as you can. Uh, you don't really want to get on it. I had to lift there a little bit, of course, because it pushed me. And, uh, yeah, just picking up full throttle and again making use of this curb on exit don't get on that grass there will be people doing that and typically they are crashing over here so watch out for that they will spin across the track it's a lot of fun and uh, yeah so this section here obviously it's a long way to the finish line so if you've got a good run in the car in front of you maybe didn't uh, definitely this is a chance to make one last pass before the finish line or if there is a lot of laps left uh, watch out this everyone's going to go defensive here uh, if there's anyone uh, remotely close behind you uh, people are just going to go cover the right hand side so watch out for this turn one is always a blast on this track and that's a uh, 55.9 so good luck hope this helps maybe we'll see you on track and uh, yeah keep it on track and you should have a decent finish and yeah, to hopefully not get collected by anyone. We'll see you next time.